So we have log base m of the square root of all of this stuff here. And we have to uh, expand this as much as possible. So the very first step we're going to do is deal with the square root. Remember, a square root can be written as an exponent to the one-half power. So let's do that first. This is the log base m of this entire thing here, so r cubed over 5z to the 5. And all of this is being raised to the 1 half power like that. Okay, before we use any of the rules, though, for logs, we have to get rid of this 1 half. Right? If you think about the log rules, like, for example, the quotient rule, it says if you have the log base b of x over y, you subtract, right? You do log base b of the top minus log base b of the bottom. Just fractions turn into subtraction. But notice there's a 1 here, right? There's not a, there's not a number. That's why we have to take this 1 half and put it in the front using what's called the power rule. So we have 1 half times the log base m of all of this stuff here, r cubed over 5z to the 5. Not my favorite variables, 5s and z's. I don't like any of them. <laughs> so now we can use this rule here, which is the quotient rule. So this 1 half on the outside is just going to hang out. So I'm going to put it over here, 1 half parentheses, then just log of the top piece, so log base m of r cubed, and then the fraction, right, turns into subtraction, so minus log base m of the bottom piece, so 5z to the 5, just like that, parentheses. I'm going to put this in parentheses too, just for a little bit of added clarity. All right, let's keep going. We can do a couple more things here. This is one half. Here we have a three, so we can use the power rule again and take the three and just put it in the front. So this is three log base m of r. And then here you're tempted to bring down the five, but you can't do that yet because there's a five here. So we actually have to use the product rule. You see, there's a times here. It's 5 times z to the 5th. So it's minus parentheses, right? This is going to become 2 log, so the parentheses is important. Log base m of the first factor, so 5, plus, and then because it's times, so it becomes plus, log base m of the second factor, and then parentheses, parentheses, right? Two parentheses one to close this one, and then this is the outer parentheses. Pretty intense problem. So this is one half parentheses three log base m of r. Here we can distribute this. There's really an invisible minus one here. So this is minus log base m of five, and then minus one times this. We'll turn it to a minus, and then let's go ahead and bring down this five using the power rule. So we'll have minus 5, right, distributing the negative 1 and bringing down the 5 at the same time, log base b of m of z. And that's pretty much it. You could leave the 1 half on the outside or, you know, you could distribute it through. It doesn't make too much of a difference. I'll stop here. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. A much harder problem uh, with properties of logs. Good luck.